waiting for me. Inside. My name's Lauren Cronk, and I've been a denim designer and a denim maker for 25 years. I'm on the hunt for pretty much anything and everything denim. So join us for the journey, and we'll see you at the factory. Okay, so I'm at the um, Denim Kind laundry facility right now. It's like just rows and rows of these huge washing machines. These are how jeans are washed. All state-of-the-art machines from Tonello to these automatic um, machines that load and unload all by robots. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you how jeans get washed after they come from the sewing line. And we're going to go down and show you where those jeans come into the dry process department. The dry process is where the journey starts. If you want a jean to look vintage, it gets hand sanded, grinded. So that happens usually first, and then it comes to the wet process where it gets washed, bleached. It's a bunch of sustainable washes they're doing. It's really cool here. They're doing a air drying, they use the heat of the machine and air dry their garments. But anyway, we'll be back here when we get to the wet process. Okay, so I'm in the um, dry process facility and they have this really cool chute that uh, this comes from the sewing department and this is where they receive all the uh, finished, uh, sewn, like freshly finished sewn garments. I was in the way, so. Yeah, I love that. And I'm going to show an example of um, what we're trying to achieve through the wash process. So, uh, for instance, this is a raw garment with some hand sanding, and this is the final garment. This is the wash target. So this is what it looks like when it goes to the store. This target has been done through a laser and manual whiskering so a combination of manual and lasers this is the wash target this has been done all lasers and this is the wash target so that is what goes on in this department so i'm going to show manual hand sanding of whiskers so raw untouched garment and we're adding whiskers right here After it gets the manual whiskers done, it comes over to this uh, scraping where these guys put it on these, these balloons, they blow them up, the whiskers have already been done, but now they're sanding the thigh to give a, a worn thigh look. And these just came from whiskers, you can see the whiskers here, and this guy's working on the thighs. Double stroking. Good technique. Good technique. Okay, so that's a manual technique. That's this gene right here. All manually done, and this is the finished garment right there. To create these certain worn looks the factories over the years have created these techniques to help them with achieving these vintage looks 
one way here again here's the finished target you get these kind of worn looks on the fly and you the way you achieve that is you tack them you put little tacks through them and these guys are doing this so you see it's been tacked been tacked in all these different areas so when it gets washed it'll look like this you have damage on jeans like this and this you can achieve that two ways you can do it through laser and you can also do it manually So that sandpaper, and he's damaging it, then when it goes through wash, it's gonna break open. And what's interesting about this gene is it's done with both laser and manually. You can see this is laser, this is laser, and that's manual, manual. So it gives two different looks, and um, we'll go check laser out. What are these guys doing over here? These guys in the white um, aprons are deaf. And so this guy has trained them um, how to work here. I've been noticing that throughout the factory. They have um, kind of special little areas where they've been given, you know, jobs for um, certain people. And I also noticed that in sewing where when they have um, some automated machines that are a little easier to use. So people with disabilities, they have trained how to work some of the automated machines, which is um, it's pretty special. So. Okay, now I'm in the laser room. Typically they, they run uh, lasers on bigger production runs because they've got to program these machines and it really kind of gets every single piece exactly the same. Um, again, you've seen some of these samples, but this is a laser a garment. And this is the final garment. Laser manual, uh, target. So the first machine we're gonna go check out is this one, which I love. so on and so on, which everyone loves the lasers. I love the lasers. I mean, it's so cool to, um, to see the blue smoke um, come off of them. So this laser kind of helps them set the garments. This guy, what's he doing? You can see all the crazy patterns in the wood that from all the different designs they've done. Looks like the same jeans back there. This is pretty cool. This light's on fire. So when you see this, those are an intense laser. And so they get an air hose and blow it out and it's actually a hole in the garment, which is uh, right here. what it looks like after wash. Makes 
cool noise too. And that's the laser department. It's got a very mellow, chill fill in here. I like it. Those are towels. So towels, it kind of uh, has replaced the acid wash look. So it does a kind of a random acid wash look. Um, and they're going to load up this machine right here. they've developed a whole bunch of sustainable washing techniques where they've got rid of most of the harsh chemicals like bleach. Um, they don't use any bleach and they've been able to uh, work with different companies and develop these sustainable washes to replace stone washing. They have this new uh, technology called smart foam and it's this foam. There's no liquid in here. It's just a foam. It's a foam that gets pumped into this, um, these garments, and um, it kind of does the same thing that stone washing does. I'll show you an example here. This is this is like a raw, unwashed garment. This is a light dip indigo, so it's a light shade, so that's why it's not dark. But this is an example of a raw garment, and then this is a smart foam. And they also use ozone bleaching. They say bleach, and it's not a chemical. It's just an um, ozone wash, which acts like a bleach, and it washes. The longer you do it, this is 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, the shade washes down lighter. So here's a dark indigo. Actually, they, they put a, a, a glass of water here. About 50% of these washes only use a, one glass of water, which so the, the water usage has been drastically reduced over the last few years. So most of us are used to um, going into a store and buying a jacket that looks like this. And this is how it starts. See there's some hand sanding up here. And then after it gets washed, you'll see how it looks after wash. These are all automated dryers. One guy can run all these machines right here. So this is the way they use the heat from all the machines and they air dry a lot of these garments. So these are wet garments. They go around this whole place and then back down and now these are dry. Okay, so I even forget how much goes into making a pair of jeans. You know, when it gets out of sewing and then it goes through wash, you know, when it goes through wash, you kind of think it's pretty much finished, but that's when you step into finishing. And this place is totally packed with people trimming, putting labels on, putting the hardware. She's looking at the fit style and Finding the right label that goes into it, putting rivets. In wash, 
if they're doing a raw edge, you have to put an overlock on it so it doesn't break apart. She's cutting off that um, safety stitch so it's a raw edge. This guy's putting snaps on these little tabs. Um, I love this machine. It turns the jeans inside out. Or in this case, right side in. trimming loose threads out. Um, they put these reinforcements so they don't blow out when they do heavy wash treatments, so they've got to trim those out. Pressing. Inspection. These guys doing shade? You guys are checking the shade range. There's always a little bit of a shade range um, from the different rolls of, of fabric. There's a little bit slight shade range in mo most all denim, so they have to make sure that they're within the tolerance. Looks like she's bar tacking. Bar tacking the um, seam. Double checking, triple checking. crazy, really, I mean, it's just crazy how many people it takes to make not only jeans, but just clothes. Wild. So the jeans come from the finishing area into the packing area. Um, there's a little conveyor belt here. It looks like they're putting some through right now. Why this comes through this machine, sometimes needles break when they're sewing. And this is a metal detector and it checks garments for stuck needles. Anyway, so these are coming in, they're pressed and folded. Then they get organized and sorted and wrapped, put into boxes, and then these boxes are gonna go to the warehouse. And they said, usually like a box, an order, goes into the warehouse and it takes about one to two days before it gets shipped out. Um, this customer wanted their jeans rolled and packaged a little bit differently. Um, all right, we're almost done. We're going to go to the warehouse and see where they store all this. Which 
it shouldn't be any surprise. I mean, seeing the size of all the different facilities, spinning, weaving, 